Okay, so I want to make some changes here. I think I want to I want to give some mouse over images over the thumbnails so that when the, when my cursor passes over each of the thumb, thumbnails, um, something's going to change. Now I also want to change this nav bar here. I created a brand new nav bar which included my social media links. So let's get out of live view here. Go to design view right at the top of my page and let's target this banner here. Now I've already created the banner with the social media links um, and I'm, I'm going to do some more double click it and that's going to bring me back to my images folder. And as I scroll down here, we can see my brand new banner right there. Click OK, and there they are. Okay, so um, this should be fairly familiar with you. I've gone to Photoshop, just rearranged every everything, and then saved out this particular um, strip as a JPEG. Next, I want to do some mouse overs. So if I go to Gallery One and click on it. I want that to change. Now I've already created mouse overs for these, and that. I change the border to a different color, such as red. So what we're going to do is I'm going to click on here. Then we're going to get the behavior tab. If it's not open, now my behavior tab is up here in the top right hand corner. If yours is not open, go to the, under the window menu and target behavior. All right. So I'm going to come right over here, hit this little plus symbol, and the behavior that I'm looking for is called swap image. So as I click on this swap image. I need to tell it what image to swap out. Now, I'm going to give this a different name here. Let's cancel this out for a little bit. As I click on this, right down here in my properties panel, I have an ID, right? So I'm going to call this one G1 for Gallery 1. So G1. And I will target the next one, call it G2. Keep it organized. Go to the next gallery. We will call that one G3 for gallery three. And the next one for the ID image, I'm gonna call this one G4. So what this does is it gives it unique names so that you are absolutely sure um, what you're clicking on and, and what image that uh, Dreamweaver is gonna swap it out for. I'll go to gallery five, let's go ahead and just do the rest of these here. Let's go hit G5 and then click, click directly on it to highlight the image. Um, let's go back down to the bottom. Ensure the G5, click on that one, G6. I will target the next one out. Dreamweaver has a tendency to jump around on me a little bit. Um, so just be careful what you're clicking on. G7. After it uh, makes its commitment, I'm going to go back over here. And this is my 3D page. I'm going to call this one G3D. Okay, and hit enter. Okay, all right, so let's save it. File menu and target, save. Now let's go swap these images out. I'm gonna target the first one. Come right over here to the behavior. Click the little plus symbol and that's gonna give me a list of things of options to apply to this image. So I'm gonna come down to the one that's called swap image, target swap image. It sees right there. You can see right here in the list. This is G1, target G1. Now that's the image that's going to be targeted. Now the image we're going to swap it out for under the set source to go to browse. And if we go to our Chrome Illusion Responsive, I believe we have the images rollover right down here. Okay, so Chrome Illusion Responsive is the root of my folder. The images is what obviously is all my images are placed into. But I created a new folder under directly under image responsive called images rollover. So if I click on that one, we can see my gallery one right there. Okay. And we click it and then click OK. Let's go ahead and do these, do the rest of these here. Target this one here, drop menu, and let's go ahead and hit the swap image. Browse rollover images and we grab the next one okay so i'm going to do this for all of these okay so i have all of them done so if you click on any one of these 
over in the right hand side under your behavior, you get to see your on mouse out and your on mouse over. So on the mouse over, we're gonna swap that image, okay? All right, so make sure that you save the document. Mine is saved, I know that because save is, is grayed out up here. And now we're going to take this on over and, and, and upload it to the server. So let's go over to our files menu. Let's click on, let's expand this out so we can see both our remote server and my local server, which is right up right here. Now on my local server, I've got the, the public HTML. That's where my website's gonna reside. And then I've made a, a, a separate folder called, let's go over here. I believe I called it test. Now here's a, a folder called test three, all right? I'm gonna make a brand new one. Um, I'm gonna go over here and right click, make a new folder. Let's just call this one test four. Now the other test folders are, are, are folders I've been playing around with earlier for experimentation. So just to be safe, I'm gonna make, make a brand new folder. Yours is gonna be called test, by the way. Okay, okay. So let's go ahead. I see it should have it should have dragged them all in alphabetical order. Um, if I come back up to the top here, there is my test for folder. There's nothing in it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, go ahead and just upload everything, right? So if I grab my index.html, drag it on over, place it inside my test for folder. It doesn't look like nothing's happening, but when I release it, something is. Um, that's a little visually deceptive. It's asking me, do I want all the dependent files in there? Ab absolutely, I do. I'm going to target yes. And then right down here, we can see it's uploading everything to that test for folder. All right. Um, a, a quick little way to kind of test things out is if we hit function key 12, right? It's the shortcut to preview in the browser, okay? Um, if I, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do so now, hit F12. What's gonna happen is a web browser is gonna pop up displaying my HTML content. So it's, it's using Internet Explorer, and you can see there are my mouse overs, right? So if I scroll on down, there's some mouse overs, it's all, it's all switched over. Now, I'm going to close this out and what I'm going to do is I'm actually, actually going to go use another browser to go to that um, test for folder. And let's go grab, I'm going to use my Opera browser. Opera, I've always liked. And of course, you want to test this in Firefox. You're going to want to test this in, in, um, uh, in Chrome as well. So you can see my Chrome, Firefox, and Opera icons are right up here, right next to each other. So if I go to my Chrome Illusion, WW Chrome Illusion, all right, and it sees it already, so I'm going to target it in, put a forward slash test four, right? Because that was that folder, and it should default within that folder. There's the page, right? And there we go. Okay, it's viewing the same there. So I have to go in and make some modifications for as to why the the, the thumbnails are stretching out there a little bit. Um, they shouldn't be. They should be uh, in, intended for them just to highlight the red. But it gives you an idea of of, of where we're going with this. Okay, let's go ahead and, and, and copy that link and let's view this inside of Chrome. All right, so there is my Chrome browser opened up. There it is there. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead to, uh, and instance... turn off that little video and there's my website is, is accessing uh, the website directly to the folder and, and of course it's giving me the same thing. Okay, so it's working for the most part. Um, I'll make little modifications as to why the icons being stretched, but um, you guys are getting an idea. Okay, so a little bit of an add-on. If you, I, I just decided to add a, another little video it's just to share with you. If you want to make any changes to the website, um, just update your graphics and and double-click it on the Dreamweaver and just tell it to grab the new graphic. And then I also add a little bit of a mouse over effect if you so choose to use that as well. Okay. Um, watch the rest of the videos and uh, there'll be, be a lot more explanatory <clears throat> and looking forward to seeing your work.